You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. In this tutorial, we will create our own node that will handle curved terrain. To do so, first, add a path 2D node as the core of the scene. Right click and hit rename. Rename it to curved terrain. Go to scene, scene save as, and save it. Then add a script. Inside, we'll first add tool and a class name. Tool will make this code run inside the go.editor. And class name is the name that will be used to search for the node when adding it to a scene. Next, we will add three export variables. One for the edge texture, one for the texture inside the terrain, and one to toggle the visibility of the collision shape, which will allow us to see the visuals when creating levels, without the collider getting in the way. Then we will create three variables, each storing a location to a node that we will add in the scene via code. This includes a polygon 2D for the visuals inside of the terrain, a line 2D for the visuals of the edge of the terrain, and a collision polygon 2D for the collisions of the terrain. Inside the built-in ready function, we will create and add the nodes that we need as children. For Polygon 2D, we make sure to enable Texture Repeat, so that way the texture is tiled. Then for Line 2D, we do the same, but we also make sure to set the texture mode as well. And for the Collision Polygon 2D, we must first create a Static Body 2D, which we store inside of a temporary variable. So that way we can add the Collision Polygon 2D as a child in the correct location. Finally, we set the texture filter to nearest as we are using pixel art. And then we add a custom function called Generate Terrain. It is important to call this custom function inside the ready function, as this is the only location where the function will be called while the game is running. Then inside the built-in process function, we will underscore delta as we're not using it, and we call the generate terrain function, so that the terrain updates appropriately as we edit it in the Godot editor. But we will also check if not engine dot is editor hint, so that the process function only runs within the Godot editor, and not while the game is running, so we can save some performance. Inside the generate terrain function, we will check if we have no curve or if the current curve has no points. If so, then we will reset the collision and visuals and call return so that the rest of the code doesn't run. Then we will create two variables, one that stores the points of the curve, which will be used by the polygon 2D and line 2D, and another that also stores the points, but will be used instead for the collision polygon 2D. We separate them as we will be adding extra values to the points variable, so that the terrain completes its endpoint properly. Then if there are more than one point, we add the second point of the points variable to the end of the points variable. This needs to be done as there is no way of joining the start and end point of a line, meaning we can simulate it by overlapping a line where the joining would have occurred. Next, we set the polygon 2D and line 2D's shape and texture appropriately. Keep in mind that if no texture is set, then these nodes will use their default white color. Finally, for the collision, we first check if there is enough points for a closed shape, then we set the polygon, and we also set the visibility to the visibility collision variable. Now inside of your game scene, press the plus, search for the class name Curved Terrain. If it isn't there, then you may need to save and restart Godot. If it is there, then add it to the scene. From here, we will set the edge and center texture to the textures you can download for free, link in the description. Then at the top, we can use the first option to select points the second to make a point curved, the green to add points, the red to remove, and the final to close the curve. We will select the green option, then click around to create our terrain. You can disable visible collision to see how it will look in the game. Once you're happy with the general shape, make sure you press the option that will complete the curve. Then select the curve tool and click and drag on the various points to make them curved. If you want to remove a point, simply select the red tool and select that point. Alternatively, you can use the green tool and press right click on the point. Additionally, if you want to add more points to a specific segment, you can use the selection tool and select that side. Then you can drag and reposition it how you like. If you want even more finer tuning of each point, then select the curve 2D on the right and drop down points. From here, you can edit the properties of each point to ensure they are perfect for your terrain. Now, if you have a lot of colored shapes in the collision, this will likely cause bad performance. To minimize this, you can select the curve 2D on the right and change the bake interval. Just keep in mind that this will affect the smoothness of the terrain. Now you have a custom node for handling curved terrain in your game, which you can edit and improve further as well as add to any game that you make in the future. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.